guys welcome to my channel my name is Peachy and this is plant and style in this video I'm going to share with you my experience about importing plants from halfway across the world and in this case it's coming from green spaces ID which is from Indonesia and in this video we have three parts first is the first unboxing and then we have a second unboxing and you'll know why in a little bit and the third one is a four month update so if you like this kind of content please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up if you like it and hit that notification bell down below so you'll be notified when my future video drops and without further ado let's jump into the videos here it is. Here's what it looks like. And it says, thank you for your order. May the plants continue flourishing. And then they're offering 10% off for my next purchase. Okay, so let's start with um, Florida Ghost. looks like oh my goodness it looks fried guys look at that womp womp it looks fried does not look good it looks like it's cooked it's brown it's not green it's not yellow it's a brown <laughs> that is not good vchi seedling it's definitely looking limp and brown. I'm not even sure if this is salvageable, but we will open the roots in a little bit. Okay, Atabapuensi. Oh no. This is even moldy. Look. This is fried as well. It looks very, very wet. I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. I'm getting really, really hot. Oh no. What was this? This is Plowmaniae. Oh, it's got, it's molded. Look at that. Poor thing. It's molded. It's dead. Vitari folium. Gosh. Oh no. <laughs> Again, another. It's all wet and soggy. I can't even get one. <sighs> one plant that is alive. No. There, it's all wet and brown. Oh, <laughs> this is ring of fire. Oh my god. This is dragon scale extra large. Yeah, right. The stem is squishy and moldy. Yeah. Yep. See, it's already like falling apart. This whole thing. Gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a disaster. <laughs> Again, this part is like squishy. The one that's connected to the branch. Oop, it's gone. Just a root ball in here. Should I even still open it? Sorry to interrupt, but watching that video once again 
was really heartbreaking and we should move on to the happy parts of this video because that's what I'm here for. I'm not here to for you guys to feel miserable the same way I did in the past when I was unboxing it and my goal is to bring joy instead with all the plants that we have here. So let's do that. So today we have an unexpected plant mail. I was supposed to get this Thursday this week and it's only Tuesday and I just got the message that this was getting delivered today instead. So I wasn't prepared for it. There's so much going on today, but we have to open this. So here we are outside on our porch trying to sneak into film because it's a little bit crazy in, inside. Um, my, my baby is awake and it's, you know, we can't film around her. So there are 11 plants in this tiny little box and I can't remember the details or the plants that are in here because it's, it's been a while and this was actually the replacement box of my first import. As you have seen already, the first box was a disaster it was a complete disaster all plants came dead on arrival and they were very accommodating they were very responsive with my queries all right we made it we're in okay it says here on the box also that it was open for the inspection necessary by blah 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 Indonesian agriculture something something all right so here we go first plant is whoa can you see right here wow many eye Okay, here it is. What the heck? What are these? What are these holes? It's got some major holes. <laughs> okay, it looks like this was supposed to be the newest leaf and it, it's very soft and wet. And. Why does it look like there's two growth points in here? There's one over here and another one here. I don't understand. I mean, why would you send something like this with holes on them? If you were going to pick a plant, pick your best plant, right? To send it to somebody, unless this is like the last one. I don't understand because that's not like a damage from the trip. All right. Okay, let's take a look at the roots. Okay, so the roots are dry. Definitely very, very dry. And yeah, so I guess it did have two growth points. There are two plants in here, like one here and another there. Like I can totally separate this and have two plants just in case, you know. So I have two chances. All right, I have a few jars in here that I have ready for this and I just have water in here and I'm just gonna put it in water and let it soak. I'm planning on soaking everything overnight and I'll check again tomorrow and see if any of them needs more treatment. 
Next plant, Pareto Verde. Okay. It looks like we have a couple leaves that are yellowing and it's pretty nice model variegation green variegation and this is the yellowing leaf and this looks like it's on its way out as well um, all right this might this might survive this time around but we can't get our hopes up anymore okay all right wow we've got some long roots they look nice it seems it's a little bit dry once again but that's to be expected all right so far so good you guys i'm super happy so far okay this is Jemaniai. Can you see? Can you guys see? Okay. And variegated. Look at that. This is Anthurium Jemaniai variegated. Look at that nice, very nice variegation. And look at that <gasps> noodles look at that beautiful beautiful four leaves but it's very nice and firm and it's like like it didn't travel at all great nice variegation and thorium gemaniai okay I only have this jar, so it's gonna have to sit right there. Okay, so next one is Anthurium Silver Blush. Oh, my allergy is very, very strong at the moment. Oh no! Oh no! That's too bad, it looks pretty. So this is Silver Blush. Aww, it's a baby. Very cute. This one. Second leaf. Third leaf. Fourth, and the other one just fell off. So. It looks like there's growth point. Oh right there right here okay and let's look at the roots it's all about the roots when you're importing you know the leaves doesn't really matter that much because we're gonna get some new growth and as long as there's a healthy root system we can get the leaves back later later on you know okay all right this again has two um two plants in there i think that i can totally separate this two and have two plants once again and this is already falling out so let's just take it out and great white plump roots very very cute anthurium silver blush I'm gonna put it next to this 
other baby Ontarium over here. And moving on to, where are we? One, two, three, four. We're on number five. Anthurium, another Anthurium. This is Vitarifolium. This is Anthurium Vitarifolium. The biggest leaf is chewed up. These are babies. It's got baby leaves. One, two, three, four, five nine it's got some it's got nine leaves that are juvenile oh the biggest one has to be the one that's chipped and the biggest ones had to be the one with damages but that's okay hopefully these roots will make it it's a little bit on the dry side again Whoa, this is Gigantium in a small packet. Hmm. Oh, so cute. It's got a couple yellow leaves. Um, but this is a goner. This leaf is another goner, but looks like the newest leaf has the. Wow, look at that variegation, guys. That is so nice. Marbling over there. And here's the other one. And another right there. But look at this, it's not looking so great, but it's not mushy. It's a little bit on the dry side. There's some black, black roots. Okay, we might have to deal with this a little more in a minute. So for now, we're gonna put it in a separate jar, just in case there's rotting in there. Ring of fire. Now, it's got one dead leaf right there. So far, so good, you guys. Oh, I'm feeling way better. I was very nervous for a little bit because as you, you all know, if you've seen my previous imports, it hasn't been very, very, um, very, very good experience. It's not perfect experience so far. I've had troubles on two on both of my imports and yeah um, this is not sponsored by any means by the way so there's some mush in there there and very very small root system and it looks like there's rotting on the new leaf right here mm, I don't think this plant is going to make it which is sad because this might go also it's got nice 
cute little um, variegation on every leaf. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this one. Next, this is Clary, Clary Nervium Medium. I already have a Clary Nervium. You guys know that, but it's not doing great. And this is such a great price. I think this was like 20 something bucks. And, huh. They do not look aesthetically pretty at all. Like, look at that. Why is that? This one's cute, this one's pretty. Okay, all right, fine. <laughs> and there's a new leaf, hopefully it's a big one, but okay. Hmm, this is medium? I can't believe this is medium. It doesn't look very medium to me. It looks tiny. It looks like a seedling. Right? What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, pull that one out. Okay, I think we've got some roots to work with. Clary Nervium is known for their thick, plump roots, and that's a lot of roots. <laughs> All right, okay, so at least it's got one, maybe two, two perfect leaves. What is that? Are those just scratches? Yeah, I think so. All right, in with the Anthurium family. Okay, I, I need to get more jars. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so we are back. We are down to last three, which um, two of them are actually the same. Yeah, let's, let's get this one first. This is majestic. And look how big this, this one is. That's exciting. So I've been wanting this majestic for a while. Hang on. Look at this plant. It's long. It's tall. The new leaf is, oh no, the new leaf is a bit damaged. There's browning on the tips. There's a couple yellow leaves on the bottom. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look very majestic. Um, I might have to propagate this guy because it's looking wonky. I don't know how I'm gonna rehab this. Oh my goodness, it's tall. Oh, it does not look good, guys. It looks black and dry there's a lot of browning there's a lot of dead roots for sure we might have to reroot this guy and propagate and reroot him yeah this is gonna get trimmed off probably most of it but okay 
down to the last two that, like I said, are the same. Because I really wanted this plant and it's hard and expensive to get it from here locally so I figured I should get two just to be sure and um, I'll just sell the other one um, that I don't like And this is um, Papillaminum cross with Magnificum Verde. <gasps> oh my gosh! <gasps> oh, it's gorgeous. It's got a new leaf right there. Oh my god, it's big. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This is Papillaminum crossed with Magnificum Verde. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Here's the other leaf. It's so velvety. Here's another one. So it came with one, two, three, four, five, six, six leaves, guys and a new one right here oh i hope you make it all right let's check the roots wow i'm so happy this is so nice wow this, this is so 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 pretty i have a Magnificum Verde already and it's um, Not Magnificum Verde just Magnificum and it just put out a new gigantic leaf It's just very very easy plant living on top of my floating shelf with regular humidity which in our house is 50 around 50 Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. <gasps> nice white noodles. Oh my goodness, this looks so healthy. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Wow, impressive. Oh, oh my battery is dying. Very impressive. Look at that nice and white extensive root system and everything seems except for a little yellowing on this oldest leaf but the rest are perfect oh my goodness look at that i love it it's pretty good okay Papillaminum Magnificum Verde uh, hybrid and it seems bigger <laughs> it'll, be ex it'll be interesting to see and to compare both you know uh oh Uh oh, we got some yellow, yellow leaves. <gasps> Here, we got a couple yellow leaves. Oh no. Oh no. There's a couple growth points over here, but This top one looks mush. Okay, but um, look how elongated this one is. 
Okay, let's get the other one and compare them. Okay, here you go. Can you see? Okay, you can't see. There you go. Now you can compare side by side. These are same, but not really. So, this other leaf is darker. I wonder if they fade to green as it gets older. This, because this looks like a, a newer leaf right here. You see how it's darker? Okay, here's the other leaf. And yeah, I think this is a new leaf. The back also has a hint of like red, darker back. But look at that. Very nice. Look at that. It's nice. Okay, let's check the roots. But look, again, we have some nice roots. Um, some yellowing leaves that I'm just gonna pull out. Just gonna pull you out. There is a um, growth point right there, no leaf, but it still looks, it feels mush though it's soft okay that's fine so this one only has three leaves now one two and three beautiful leaves all right i think it's a success i don't have a completely dead plant this time around wow i'm thank you so much green spaces id for a um, very successful import this time around oh my god that was way better isn't it that first part was a torture to watch i know and i just would like to add how grateful i am of green spaces id for being so accommodating during this time they actually let me pick my plants again they gave me the option to re-pick and not have to get the same exact plants that I ordered in the beginning because I guess they understood that my tastes have changed somehow. I don't know, but I was very, very thankful for it because it did change. Because it took a while, you know, for it to arrive, a couple months to be exact. So... I definitely had other plants in mind to to get during that time so yeah moving on to the four months update of these plants and the first one on the list is my philodendron plowmanii so here it is four months later these two leaves are actually new the older leaves have died back I actually chopped them off because while it was acclimating it suffered from spider mites infestation and there's no way to save the leaves that it had at that time so I decided to just start over and now it's looking great it did have two growth points as you can see there are two stems in here this other one is kind of overlapping on this other stem and going in a different direction but i will uh, guide it later on when the new shoots come so yes i am very very happy with how this turned out and look at how beautiful these leaves are how deep the veination and that silver color on top of it contrast so nicely right what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you have something to say about this plants that i've got and if you would have picked it for yourself as well 
Moving on to the next plant, which is the Philodendron Paraiso Verde. So here, here she is now. It's grown tall for sure. It's definitely a very, very fast grower. But my problem here is I am losing the variegation. This mottled green variegation is now gone for some reason. And I believe that it needs um, highlight and warmth, heat. To be exact and unfortunately i don't have that much <laughs> for it it's already inside my detolf greenhouse cabinet basically on its own with like all the lights that i could give it there but it's still not that much happy um it started to kind of um return this was the newest leaf as you can see there's some variegation there but not entirely it would only mean that i have to give it more which obviously i don't have and i can't so what i'm going to do is i'm probably either sell this whole thing as a whole plant or propagate it because I have heard that it's very, very easy and fast to propagate. As you can see, it already has ginormous amount of aerial root. So yeah, I'm quite excited to do that because I'm also wondering if that would change a little bit. And hopefully, if I somehow find a way to get the variegation back, I'm definitely going to keep it or some parts of it. But right now, I am not liking how it, how it grows. Like, the structure is not very attractive in my opinion. So yeah, I think I'm going to pass on this one. But otherwise, it's very healthy and it's definitely like growing like crazy. So... Plant number three is my Anthurium genmanii variegated. And here it is four months later. So it has grown this, I think the last three, three bigger leaves. And they call this cardboard Anthurium, the cardboard plant as well. I think it's because of the texture. It's quite stiff and it feels very hardy and it is actually I have not had any problems whatsoever with it it's just loving pond i can see roots coming out of the bottom of the pot already also trying to reach for the water and it's growing quite nicely it reminds me of anthurium super bomb and its structure the way it grows also it's kind of like a bird's nest um, fern with um, the variegation this newest leaf has like almost a half moon variegation right there and I am loving it I'm quite excited to see how this one grows and how it matures so yeah anthurium genmanii variegated moving on to plant number four is my anthurium silver blush four months later so here they are as you can see i have split it into two parts into two plants just because I wanted to make sure I'm able to save at least one because in the beginning it wasn't looking too well so I figured more chances the better and so far they're both doing well it actually also suffered from spider mites it was next to the plowmanii and I um, chopped most of the 
uh, leaves back but I have kept a few like this one is an original and this little one right here so you can see it's still a baby it's still very small and I'm I'm so excited to see how it matures as well and I've seen a picture of them and they look so silvery and so nice veining so I'm quite excited and I just look at this one has a new leaf coming out of the petiole so that's exciting but this this one is probably gonna be sold because obviously this other one is looking great as well and I do not need uh, duplicates at the moment because as you can see we're running out of space in here and this one is also showing new growth point right right there if you can see that and it actually has three different growth points here so if I wanted to I can still propagate this and split this into three parts but I'm not gonna do that because I wanted a, a bushy one eventually so yeah another successful plant import four months later anthurium silver blush who is also in pawn and loving every bit of it so grateful the next plant is a bit of a sad story because four months later look at it now <laughs> This is the only plant that has not given me anything. It has not done a single bit. I have moved this into my greenhouse cabinets and so far it only dropped leaves for me and we are down to the two um, original leaves. Remember this chopped or bitten off leaf it's still here somehow but the rest of them has slowly dropped one at a time and I'm not exactly sure why and I'm not sure what to do with this so if you guys have any tips on this anthurium deterifolium please do let me know in the comments down below because I really really wanted to save this one and right now it lives in inside my millspo cabinet and it's in a southeast facing window also so it's getting a lot of light not direct sunlight but and it's also getting a lot of humidity we're talking like 90% humidity constantly so I don't know if that's good but so far it's unhappy moving on to plant number six for the four month update and it is no other than my philodendron gigantium variegated I know they also call this uh, gigantium blizzard but I don't think that if that's a um, a real name for it but it's a variegated gigantium basically and so far this plant is doing well I have it in this no drainage uh, glass container and it's loving it and I wait for the substrate to look dry you know the difference when in, in the pond you can see it clearly if the the rocks or the substrates already dry and that's what I'm looking for before I refill it again because it's a philodendron and I believe that they like to dry out once in a while so I'm doing that and so far it hasn't given me any problems and this is the newest leaf as you can see it's got some nice variegation and it's very stable variegation also like it doesn't fade away like uh, the Parisa Verde and um, or the Jose Bono I 
really really prefer this this philodendron and i'm so excited to see it big because i know that they get really really big hence the name gigantium like a giant you know so yeah so so excited with this man and this also lives just here in my uh, cubby shelf and in a regular room humidity so yes philodendron gigantium variegated Moving on to the next plant, which is plant number seven, is my philodendron ring of fire. I honestly thought that this plant wasn't going to make it because it had a rotten growth point. The new leaf was rotting away and then it had a mushy bottom as well. But somehow after a treatment of um, hydrogen peroxide it grew back and I put it in a fluval stratum with a little bit of lecca at the bottom so it's easier for me to water it and yeah it's got multiple growth point now after removing the um, top part it shot out three different growth points so this is going to be a bushy one if i let it grow out uh, as you can see we have got some nice variegation on it as well and it's very very exciting for me because i really wanted to see this one in a mature form and i like the structure of it and the nice colors that it could have this is a variegated jungle boogie, if you guys don't know. But yeah, that is quite exciting. And I, yeah, I want to see this in with like the serrated leaves that it's known for. So quite, quite excited. I am going to transfer this to pond, obviously, and pretty soon, probably after this video. But yeah. Philodendron Ring of Fire. And for the next one, we have Anthurium Clarinervium four months later. You remember there were holes on the original leaves? Those leaves are gone now. And just like my Plaumanii and uh, the Anthurium um, Silver Blush, this also has suffered from spider mites infestation and I had to chop off all of the leaves that it came with because um, it was just, it tore the leaves apart. <laughs> it was just chewed up and there was no way to save it and I wasn't going to, to save it anyways because it looked nasty. and. Yeah, these two new leaves, on the other hand, is looking cute and fabulous. I really, really love the uh, the way this looks as like a perfect heart shape, in my opinion. And um, yeah, again, I am excited to see this one grow for me. The next plant on cue is my philodendron majestic you remember how tall it was well now i have chopped it into pieces <laughs> this is how it looks now there are i think um three cuttings in here and it has grown a couple of leaves i think some of them each and it's looking bushy now which i really love currently in a fluval stratum with a little bit of leca at the bottom and as you can see here we have some good root growth this is also due to be repotted into pond and i think i'm gonna pick through this one and get the best specimen and sell the rest because then again 
actually hold on I have this other one too <laughs> I forgot this is the butt cut which is in soil still because I am planning to sell this one off and yeah it also has grown two leaves and there's another growth point at the bottom here if you can see that so yeah i'm probably going to chop this one more time and turn into two two more plants because why not <laughs> right and it seems to be a very fast grower as well and uh, i love that color and if, if you guys do not know this is a hybrid of vericosm and soderoi plant number nine philodendron majestic so the last two plants as you already know are the same and they are anthurium papillilaminum cross with magnificum Verde. and it's nice to be able to show you guys side by side because even though they are the same plants they look different as a hybrid that happens most of the time and it, I'm happy to show you guys the differences so here we go the first one is right here and this was the more bushy bushy plant i think it's it was the first one that i've shown and these are the original leaves that it came with and this is the newest one this is the newest and the only leaf that it has given so far but look at that leaf, right? You see a, a magnificum characteristic right here. Foliage is also dark. And let's look at the other one. And here is the other one, guys. Can you see that? That is definitely a puppy lilaminum characteristic. It's got a wider lobe here, wider ears, and dark, really dark. And it has grown in size quite a lot compared to the original leaves. I am in love with this plant and I cannot believe how easy this plant is as well. What is that? There's a bug underneath. What is that? <laughs> there was a bug in there and it flew. <laughs> so yeah, you can't even see me, can you? But ah, oh my God, I am so in love with this hybrid. And I want to show side by side. I don't know if I can, but Wow, they're heavy. Oh my God, please don't drop them. But here they are. Oh my God, can you see that? Can you see the difference on this too? Oh my God. I love this, this, this guy right here is a kipper. This one that I'm swaying. This one is going to stay here with me whilst this other one is probably gonna be sold again because yeah i don't need to but i'm still thinking about it so yeah i'm very very excited with this plant this too actually just lives on top right here on my floating shelf in ambient humidity and just in pond and self-watering system i just refill um, the reservoir when it's empty and that's about it very seems very very easy not much crisping unlike the other anthuriums and yeah definitely a kipper and 
I highly recommend this particular Anthurium. I find that Anthurium hybrids are easier, a lot easier than their parent plant for some reason. Why is that? But I'm so happy with these imports guys, like there was no way I would be able to afford all this if I were to have bought them uh, locally. So I am really, really grateful that I was able to import this successfully and now I, they will become also my mother plant for future propagations. And yeah, I have to put this down real quick because it's getting very, very heavy. So that concludes this video, guys. Thank you so much if you're still here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell down below and follow me on Instagram at Plant and Style with Peachy. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye!